Uh, as I went back, I mean, the, the old Yugoslavian payments bureaus were, were technically effective, but they were a very expensive means of payment and they interfered with the usual relationship that there is between a bank and its customers. Um, Bosnia Herzegovina had an additional problem with them and that the payments bureaus had split into three during the war and they had not been re, uh, reintegrated uh, when we did the reforms in 2003. It was therefore a very inefficient payment system for a, a country that had just over four million people. Um, the deadline that was set uh, pro predominantly by the international community with very little consultation of I I any Bosnians, including myself, was a, was a very tight one. Uh, it was a little bit less than a year. Um, but the, uh, the project team uh, in the central bank and in the commercial banks worked extremely hard, extremely efficiently, and, and uh, we, we met the project. Um, it has to be said too that the, that the management and staff of the payments bureaus uh, were also cooperated uh, and were helpful to the process. And it wouldn't have happened so quickly and smoothly if they hadn't have, have taken a cooperative approach. Um, the, the payments reform project, at least the central bank part of it, was funded by USAID in, in, in uh, that was very helpful to us. They 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 gave us uh, plenty of money and, and very few strings attached. I, I set up a project team within the central bank. Uh, it was uh, led by um, an IMF technical advisor called Kim Ree, and um, she was the only international involved. Everybody else in the project team were staff of the central bank, um, and. Uh, they did a tremendous job. One other thing I did quite early in the project, I, I set up a payments council. Um, it it in, included uh, three ministries of finance, two banking agencies, I'm not sure how many commercial banks, the three payments bureaus, as well as the central bank. I, I came under quite a lot of pressure from some of the international people involved that wanted to join the council or to at least attend the meetings. But I insisted right through that this was the council where the Bosnians talked about the project and discussed things themselves. And so I never allowed the internationals to, to get involved in that council. And I think that was an important part. We were able to discuss things freely and frankly just amongst ourselves. And I think that helped to make the, the project go smoothly. Um, there were a few problems. Um, the, the main technical one I remember that kept coming back was the telephone line. For, for a period, they seemed to be the, the weak link in the technical side of it. Uh, the tight deadline led to a lot of problems and uh, we couldn't do all the testing that, that we, we should have done before because the deadline didn't give us time. The other main problem came about not so much on the payment side, uh, the, the, the payments bureaus also did a number of other things, including uh, collect and distribute um, most of the taxes. And when we when we were getting near to the start date on the 4th of January, um, the tax side hadn't been completed. And I did come under uh, pressure from some of the internationals to delay the start uh, so that the tax side could get ready. Um, I refused to do that. We were ready, that all the commercial banks were ready. We had had a very tight deadline and all that staff had worked extremely hard and extremely successfully. I also thought my own personal credibility was at stake because I had been telling everybody they'd better be ready to start on the 4th of January. So I wasn't prepared to go out and tell people to forget what I'd said before that we weren't starting at all. So we went ahead anyway on that date. I was a little nervous. Um, any new project, when you start it, there's always a degree of nerves. Of, is it going to go okay? Uh, but it could not have gone better. It went very smoothly uh, right from the start and uh, continued to go smoothly all the time I was there. And as, from what I've heard, it's it's gone smoothly for the whole of the 20 years um, that, uh, that it's been operating. 
Well, I, as I was thinking about it today, um, I mean, in, in, I've had a pretty long career in central banking, 35 or maybe 37 years, I'm losing count. Um, and I've been involved in a lot of major projects in a lot of different countries. Um, but I think the payments reform project in, in Bosnia was the most satisfying and most successful one I've ever been involved in. And to have it going as smoothly as it has 20 years later is, is something I'm, I'm very proud of and, and very pleased with. We visited Slovenia because they put the same system in uh, that we were going to adopt. Um, the, the, um, the, the British um, firm that was supplying it said that you know, the deadline was impossible, but we said, well, that's what it is, that's what we've got to meet. So it, yeah, it was the tightest deadline I've seen anywhere. But also, I think we, we were starting from one of the most difficult positions. Um, there were few other countries that had anything quite like the Yugoslavian Payments Bureau. And Bos there was no other country that had a, the situation of Bosnia where that payments bureau had split into three. We actually had three payment systems in a country of four million people. So we started from a more difficult point and we had a shorter time to get to the finish line, but we got there. Mm -hmm.